the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Well, I've owned this vehicle for a month now. And you can see I've put on just over a thousand miles. That means it's time for me to tell you what I really think about this truck. Let's go. After driving this vehicle for about a month, I'm gonna reveal some pretty cool and even some quirky features that I've noticed. So whether you wanna call this a sport adventure vehicle or a truck, uh, a lot of people are comparing the Santa Cruz with Ford's hotly anticipated new mini truck called the Maverick. So I'm also gonna spend a few minutes comparing and contrasting those two vehicles. And in fact, we could start right there since I'm in the car driving. Um, first thing you'll notice is the interior. And what I will say about the Santa Cruz's interior versus um, the Mavericks. Now I haven't sat inside a Maverick, but I've watched a lot of videos and I've done some research. And this interior would compare very closely to a um, sort of an upscale SUV interior. It's got sort of a sleek, high-tech, very comfy design. And one of the reasons that I like this vehicle specifically is because I don't feel like I'm in a truck. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but as most of you guys know, I've never owned a truck and I don't consider myself a truck guy. Yet, I still have all the utility in a truck or most of the utility. This is kind of on the smaller side. But a lot of the utility that um, many truck owners enjoy without losing those creature comforts that I did like in my SUVs. Now listen, I am not taking anything away from the Maverick. It's got a lot of great advantages. You know, if you're looking for a work truck, this ain't it. Um, could you do it? Sure you could. Um, if you want a work truck and you want to maybe feel a little more comfortable or feel like you're not in a work truck, I guess this will work for you depending on what you're doing. But personally, I don't think you can compare the interior on the Maverick um, in terms of of the looks of it and the comfort of it to the Santa Cruz. That's my own personal opinion. I know some of you Maverick lovers and truck lovers are gonna roast me in those comments, but you know, have at it to each their own. Okay, so a couple of things that I've noticed. I knew that it had the steps here, right? Okay, so like some trucks have, you know, the easy step up that's treaded for access but after really studying it occurred to me that it actually has three steps that you can use this first level here but then right built into the bumper is another one there and then all along the side here you have this non-slip tread that is very convenient especially for klutzes like me and then the third step is right here under the plate so you need a step up pretty much all across the back of the truck. Um, I also noticed where the rear camera is placed right underneath the, uh, the handle for the tailgate. And that's it right there. And um, I like the fact that it's higher up so that you get a better vantage point um, and then you can see more. Also the mirrors, both mirrors also have cameras. And that's great so that when you're making a turn, you hit that signal and you can see exactly uh, what's on either side of you. So other than the obvious fuel consumption difference between the uh, Maverick and the Santa Cruz, which uh, is pretty significant. Um, I'm getting about 24 miles to the gallon in the city in this thing, which is not, not the best, uh, obviously. But I am getting a lot more power in this vehicle than I would be in a Maverick. So for me, the trade-off is worth it. In the Maverick, you're gonna get 191 horsepower. Santa Cruz delivers 281 horsepower. That's a pretty significant difference. Another noteworthy difference is the actual length of the vehicles, the size of the vehicles. And the Santa Cruz is a good 10 inches shorter than popular trucks like the uh, Frontier, um, 17 inches shorter than the Tacoma. So, so that's, you know, that's pretty significant. However, it also makes this vehicle much more maneuverable. So I would just say that for a truck, 
It's got a really nice turning radius. The other thing is, you know, it's funny that I read a lot of comments when I call it a truck, when I refer to it as a truck, people are like, that's not a truck. Well, guys, let me tell you, it's got a bed. If it's got a bed, in my book, it's a truck. But listen, if that's your opinion, if that's the way you feel about it, that's fine. I don't mind what you call it. To me, it comes down to the versatility and the utility of this vehicle because there are a lot of things that I can do in this, call it what you want, that I could not do in an SUV. I mean, the handling is really smooth. If I didn't know there was a bed behind me, I wouldn't know there was a bed behind me. But it's there, trust me, it's there. Then there's this, roof rails. So if I wanna install a roof rack and put a bicycle on there or anything else, I can utilize the space on top of the truck and save the storage in the bed for something else. Not a lot of trucks are gonna come standard with those roof rails. Yet another advantage for the Santa Cruz. Yes, it's only a four foot bed and the Mavericks is larger. However, I can still fit a four by eight sheet of plywood in here, right over the wheel wells. And all I gotta do is unhinge this cable right here. Just move it up like that. And then the plywood will fit from the wheel well right over this with support. So still very doable, even in my small bed. And as far as storage goes, another small note of comparison is the Maverick comes with one cubby. But here in the Santa Cruz, I've got two standard. One on either side. And also standard is this handy dandy power source. Never thought I'd be rooting for the cubbies. They also have these sliding rail attachments. So it's great for tying stuff down and keeping things secure. And the piece de la resistance. Maverick ain't got this. <sighs> That's right. Underbed storage. Now, I know I've shown this to you guys before and the fact that it doubles as a cooler. No, it's not as big as the Ridgelines, but how big is it? Let's find out. Is there an escape hatch in here? <laughs> oh, the things I do for you guys. Get me my pillow. Well, no, it's not exactly comfortable, but I just did it to prove a point. I can sort of kind of fit in here. <sighs> Who needs a sleeping bag? It's not too shabby in here. Yes, by the way, in case you guys get any ideas, there is an emergency escape in here. And it's glow in the dark too, so you can see it when the door's shut. All right. Now, why is this so tremendously advantageous aside from just the extra storage in the room? Well, simply this. It's lockable storage within lockable storage. And being from Brooklyn, I like locks. Guys, another cool safety feature is, you know when you're parked along the street and you're sitting in the back? Not that I'll ever sit back here anyway, but just to demonstrate, if I were to sit back here and somebody else was driving and they parked along the street where there's traffic coming to where I need to get out, it actually has a warning assist in it that will let me know if there's oncoming traffic before I open the door. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Maverick. What do you say about that? Come on! Uh, it's no good. Get in there, Maverick! It's no good. And sorry, guys, I know it's all personal preference. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but in my humble opinion, this vehicle just looks a whole lot jazzier. And that includes its daytime running lights. Hidden behind this beautiful jewel designed geometric grill. Okay, Maverick lovers, you don't wanna call it a truck? Let's talk towing capacity. 2,000 to 4,000 pounds towing capacity in the Maverick. 
This baby will tow 3,500 to 5,000 pounds depending on the model you get. So again, it is personal preference, guys, but the interior here on the Santa Cruz, high-end SUV. The Maverick interior, work truck. Nothing wrong with that. Listen, I get it. If that's your intended purpose, to use your vehicle for work as a work truck, go Maverick. Go Maverick. But if you need a small truck with good towing capacity to, to tow your Wave Runners or a small boat or whatever it's going to be, then you know what? You might want to consider the Santa Cruz. That's all I'm saying. I know there's got to be a bunch of horses around here somewhere. Oh yeah, one other feature in here. You want more storage? I got more storage for you. So the other side has it too, but I think the jack is under there. By the way, get this question all the time. Spare tire? Right there. Yes, it's a donut. And yes, if you must know, this thing can move. But drive safely. And for a truck, I mean, it comes complete with a host of other usable features and functions. Voice control. When is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is Sunday, May 8th, 2022. I will mark it on my calendar. Seat coolers, seat heaters. I won't be getting a lot of use of that down here. Ooh, that goes double for the steering wheel warmer. And it's nice to have a sunroof, especially when the sun is out finally. You know, I used to enjoy driving my Fiat Spider with the stick and, um, you know, that's a whole different vehicle, a whole nother story. But if I want to get the feel of the transmission, it does have the paddle shifters. The auto hold feature, which I love because if you're doing a lot of stop and go traffic, you come to a red light, you come to a complete stop and then the vehicle takes over for you. You can take your foot off the brake. And I just absolutely love the cameras. Gives you, you know, two really useful angles. What you're seeing behind you, obviously, but also a bird's eye view, which really helps you out a lot when you're uh, trying to park the vehicle. Power mirrors, power windows, power door locks. Okay, most vehicles have that stuff standard, but lumbar support in a truck, you know? I don't know, I don't know if they all have that, but this one sure does. <sighs> Who needs a massage, Svetlana? So yes, if you want a truck, you're probably buying a Maverick. But if you want something a little different, a little more special, a little more unique, both with the styling and what it offers, my vote, Santa Cruz. Just don't call yours Blue Iguana. So guys, in the end, what's the final analysis? I don't care what you call it. To me, it's the blue iguana. And it always will be. Guys, I'm in no way trying to demean the Maverick, truck owners, truck enthusiasts, but this vehicle gave me an opportunity to experience what truck owners have been appreciating all these years. And in the end, I'm very happy with it. It's only been a month and uh, we're gonna have a long time together, me and the Blue Iguana, but quite honestly, it checks all the boxes. It's got all the utility that I need in a vehicle. It's comfortable, it's got a lot of power, it's got a lot of safety features and creature comforts that I look for in a vehicle. And it's aptly named as a sport adventure vehicle because it's going to be taking me on a lot more journeys and adventures throughout this beautiful state we all love. And you're coming with us.
The other side has it too, but man, I got a bug in here now. Oh, the blue iguana almost just ran over a green iguana. Iguana do a review? Iguana do a review, anyone? Oh, that's bad. 